Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a uh, pre-set up breakout rooms. So pre-set breakout rooms, what you want to do is go into, you know, log into Zoom, and you're going to go into meetings, and then you're just going to schedule a meeting. If I click schedule a meeting, what you're going to notice is, well, first I'll show you what this is. Um, it'll say when, I might say recurring meeting. Let's say it's something I want to do every day. I just, that's just the way I want to do it. Let's say for the next month, if I want to do it for the next month, I can say daily and, and say it after, you know, by, and then say the end of the month. Um, or I could just say, you know what? No fixed time. Let's just make it. So this is the breakout groups for now. Um, when I uh, do my meeting, I'm not going to do a generate automatically. I'm going to go use my personal meeting ID and I might do a passcode or I might have it. So my students, uh, wait in a waiting room, uh, for me to let them in. You decide what you want to do with that. Um, from there, you'll notice down here where it says meeting options. Um, it'll say, oh, enable to join before host. Mute participants upon entry. I might want to do that. And then only authenticated users can join or breakout room pre-assigned. This is what I really want to play with is this breakout room pre-assigned. Now, I have two options. I can create my own room. And to do that, I just click create my own room. And then I just kind of add how many rooms I want. And then here... I'm going to type in the email addresses of my students or of the participants. And so I'll type in email addresses. Let's just say um, uh, blah at gmail.com. That's be my first participant. And then raw at gmail.com and law at gmail.com. Okay, whoops. Uh, at gmail. Oh, okay, put a, put a space there. Gmail.com. Okay, that's room one. Room two, I might say um, bo at gmail.com. But you, you get the idea. And then if I want, if I've already put things in, I'm like, you know what? I want to change law and move them to room four. Um, and so now law is in room four. How I did that, I just, when you hover over their email address, you can say move to or remove. And those are your options there, okay? So this is where I assign my own breakout rooms and I'm gonna type in all of the email addresses here. So I'm gonna delete these. Um, now, if I want to, instead to import from an Excel file, um, I can download a template that I can then fill out. And I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it for you so you can see. And you'll see room one, test one at triplex.com. Test two at triplex.com, test three dot. Uh, does that make sense? So it just kind of gives you an idea. If I want room four, I'll type room four and then put the email address of the student or the participant. And you'll do how many you want, um, and it's here. So there's your template. But let's say I finished my template, and so what, I'm, and what I wanna do is I might say browse. I think I have the template here in a file. Okay, broke out template one, open. And you're gonna see in room one, I've got test one and two, room two, two, four, three, room three, five, and six. If I want to add something, say, no, you know what? I want to work with um, breakout room. Let's do that. So does that make sense? That kind of sets it all up for you. And then I'll press save. And now once I've saved it, so now I have bro four breakout rooms that are already pre-assigned that I can use uh, in my meetings. So then I need to make sure that I click save. Once I click save, oh, I have to enter a passcode. So let's just say one, two, three, four. Um, or I could do the waiting room, but I'm just going to do the passcode one, two, three, four. Save. Okay, so now that's saved.
And here's my copy of the invitation. And now anytime we go into this, you know, breakout or in, into this Zoom meeting, I I'll already have that set up uh, for me to use um, when I'm working with, uh, with my students. So hopefully this helps um, for, you know, you know what, I might join now. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not going to join now, but hopefully that helps you to, to know how do you create breakout rooms. Um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you very much.